What is a snake? Snakes are a suborder of reptiles known scientifically as serpentes, characterized by elongated, limbless bodies covered in overlapping scales. With more than 3,500 species worldwide, they inhabit almost every continent except Antarctica. Being ectothermic, they rely on external heat sources like the sun or warm surfaces to regulate their body temperature. Contrary to the popular myth that snakes are slimy, their scales are actually dry and smooth, protecting their bodies and allowing them to move efficiently across various terrains. Building on this understanding of their basic biology and appearance, we can look at some of the most recognizable snake species. The King Cobra, for instance, commands attention with its impressive size and iconic hood display. Meanwhile, the corn snake, renowned for its vibrant patterns and gentle nature, has become a favorite pet among owners. Another staple in the pet trade is the ball python, prized for its docility and manageable size. In contrast, the rattlesnake is often associated with its distinctive tail rattle, an unmistakable warning sign to predators. Each of these species exhibits unique behaviors, adaptations, and habitat preferences, underscoring the remarkable variety within the serpent world. Whether through camouflage or bold displays of color and sound, snakes thrive in nearly every environment. Some species conceal themselves among leaves and rocks, while others deter threats with vivid warning hues or the unmistakable buzz of a rattle. From varying dietary habits to specialized defense mechanisms, these reptiles have diversified into countless ecological niches. Ultimately, this expansive range of traits reflects the incredible adaptability of snakes, one of nature's most resilient and intriguing groups of creatures. Internally, snakes have a skeletal structure comprised of hundreds of vertebrae and ribs. They lack external ears, instead detecting ground vibrations and relying on a keen sense of smell enhanced by the Jacobson's organ in the roof of their mouths. While all snakes share certain fundamental traits, elongated bodies, specialized jaws, and forked tongues, the range in size is astonishing. Some, like pythons, can reach lengths comparable to a school bus, whereas others, such as thread snakes, are no thicker than a shoelace. Snakes also display remarkable diversity in their daily rhythms. Certain species, like the diurnal coachwhip snake, thrive under the sun, while others, including several rattlesnake and python species, are crepuscular or nocturnal, most active at dawn, dusk, or throughout the night. In colder climates, Many snakes brewmate, a form of reptile hibernation, congregating in communal dens to conserve warmth. Garter snakes can form especially large dens during winter, but once the weather warms, most snakes venture out alone to hunt or find mates. Although mother snakes and some species may guard their eggs or newborns, particularly in pythons and rattlesnakes, snakes are generally solitary creatures. Snakes have adapted to nearly every environment on Earth, except for the coldest polar regions. In deserts, for instance, the sidewinder rattlesnake slithers sideways to limit contact with scorching sand. Tropical rainforests harbor arboreal serpents such as green tree pythons and emerald tree boas which spend much of their lives in the canopy. Meanwhile, freshwater species live in swamps or slow-moving rivers such as the anaconda in the Amazon and saltwater sea snakes patrol coastal waters and coral reefs armed with powerful venom. Each habitat shapes a snake's appearance, habits, and physical structure. Desert vipers often bear sandy hues and possess heat-sensitive pits to hunt effectively in low-light conditions, while tree-dwelling snakes frequently sport bright colors and use prehensile tails for climbing. From the mountains of Asia to the prairies of North America, snakes flourish wherever they find suitable shelter, tolerable climates, and ample prey. This incredible adaptability has made them one of the most widespread and diverse groups of reptiles on this planet. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons or the snakes might just leap out of your screen and give you a quick bite. <laughs>Chapter 2 Prey and Predators Snakes are exclusively carnivorous, and their diet spans a remarkable spectrum of potential meals. Small rodents, birds, amphibians, eggs, insects, fish, and even other snakes 
Some species, such as the egg-eating snake of Africa, specialize in consuming only bird eggs, while giants like the anaconda can overpower large mammals like deer or even caimans. On the other end of the size range, a small ring-necked snake might stick to slugs and worms in a damp forest on the story, highlighting just how varied snake feeding habits can be. Equally diverse are the tactics snakes use to subdue their prey. Venomous snakes rely on specialized fangs to deliver a toxin that immobilizes or kills before swallowing, whereas constrictors like boas and pythons coil around their victims, squeezing until the prey can no longer breathe. Non-venomous species such as corn snakes often depend on a swift strike and powerful jaws to seize small animals. Despite these differences, all snakes share a key adaptation a jaw structure that can open wide enough to swallow prey several times larger than their own head. As fearsome as snakes can be, they themselves face formidable predators in the wild. Large birds of prey, hawks, eagles, and owls frequently hunt snakes from above, capitalizing on keen eyesight and aerial advantage. Mammals such as mongooses, honey badgers, foxes, and even some sizable rodents will seize opportunities to attack and eat snakes. While in aquatic settings, crocodiles or large fish may ambush them. Sometimes, even bigger snakes turn on smaller serpents. Depending on the region, these threats vary. In Africa, the mongoose is famously skilled at tackling cobras, whereas in North America, roadrunners can snatch small rattlesnakes with surprising agility. To survive this constant danger, snakes have developed a rich array of defensive mechanisms. Camouflage is common, like the leaf litter pattern on the Gaboon Viper, allowing them to blend seamlessly into their surroundings. Other species, such as cobras, flatten their neck ribs to form a hood and emit a loud hiss to appear more intimidating. Hogganose snakes take a dramatic approach by playing dead flipping onto their backs with their mouths agape and tongues lolling. Of course, the most iconic snake defense remains the bite. Both venomous and non-venomous species will strike if cornered. Some, like spitting cobras, can even project venom several feet into an attacker's eyes. While approximately 600 snake species are venomous, only a fraction pose serious danger to humans. Venom types differ greatly. Some snakes have neurotoxins that paralyze muscles, while others rely on hemotoxins or cytotoxins that damage tissue and blood cells. Cobras, coral snakes, and mambas commonly use potent neurotoxins, whereas vipers like rattlesnakes and puff adders tend to have hemotoxic or cytotoxic venoms. During a strike, venom is delivered via hollow fangs connected to specialized glands, though dry bites sometimes occur. Most snakes would rather avoid confrontation and typically bite only if threatened or unable to escape. Experts remind us that venom is a tool for predation and defense, and snakes play a key role in regulating pest populations. One of the most recognizable venomous snakes, the rattlesnake, highlights this balance of danger and deterrence with its namesake rattle. Composed of interlocking keratin segments, the rattle produces a distinct buzz sometimes exceeding 50 shakes per second, that warns large mammals and helps prevent accidental trampling. Each time a rattlesnake sheds its skin, a new segment is added, though counting them is no reliable indicator of the snake's age. Whenever you encounter that unmistakable buzz in the wild, remember it's a clear message. Keep your distance and give this formidable survivor plenty of space. Ha! Your snake meat! Finally, something spicy for lunch. Rattling your little toy till doesn't scare me. You're nothing but a slithery snack. Ow, what the? What did you do to me? Later, loser. Next time, pick on someone without venom. Chapter 3 Human Interactions and Conservation Status Humans and snakes share a long intertwined history, with serpents symbolizing a wide range of concepts, fertility, healing, danger, and even death across different cultures. 
Ancient civilizations like the Egyptians revered snakes in worship and royal emblems, while others viewed them with fear or suspicion, casting snakes as tricksters or omens of evil. These varying beliefs set the stage for the complex relationship people have with snakes today. In the modern world, snakes continue to spark mixed reactions. Many enthusiasts keep them yeah, as exotic boy! pets, attracted oh, yeah. by their striking patterns and relatively low space requirements. However, conflicts can arise when venomous species appear near homes or farmland, posing a safety concern. Snake bites remain a significant medical issue in some regions. With the severity of a bite depending on the species, venom dosage, and the victim's health. A lethal dose from a highly venomous snake like the black mamba can prove fatal in as little as 20 to 30 minutes if untreated, whereas other bites may allow a victim several hours or days before becoming life threatening. In all cases, prompt medical attention, especially with antivenom when available, dramatically improves survival odds. Despite advancements in antivenom research, there are still a few snake species for which no widely tested or commercially available antivenom exists. The spiny green bush viper and the twig snake, both native parts of Africa, have particularly complex venoms and are challenging to milk for research and antivenom production. Bites from these snakes are therefore especially dangerous highlighting the importance of prevention and immediate supportive care if envenomation occurs. Snake bites remain a serious global concern, with the World Health Organization estimating between 81,000 and 138,000 human deaths each year. These numbers may be even higher in reality, especially in remote areas where incidents go unreported. Beyond fatalities, hundreds of thousands of survivors contend with permanent disabilities or disfigurements from venomous bites, highlighting the need for better understanding of snake behavior, increased educational efforts to reduce fear and misinformation, and improved medical care for those at risk. Unfortunately, several high-profile cases illustrate just how deadly snake encounters can be. In 2013, two young boys ages 4 and 6 in Campbellton, New Brunswick, were killed by an African rock python that escaped its enclosure in an apartment above a pet store. Reticulated python attacks in Indonesia also made headlines. One in 2017, where a 25-year-old man named Akbar Salubiro was found inside a 7-meter python, and another in 2018, when a 54-year-old woman named Watiba was tragically swallowed while tending to her cornfield. In Florida, 2009, a two-year-old girl lost her life to a Burmese python kept as a pet. It escaped its enclosure and strangled her, leading to a manslaughter and child neglect charges against the adults responsible. Meanwhile, venomous snakes, especially in rural parts of Africa, Asia, and Latin America, continue to claim thousands of lives each year, underscoring the urgent need for widespread anti-venom availability and comprehensive healthcare resources. These heartbreaking incidents underline the dangers of improper snake ownership, mishandled enclosures, and lack of awareness about potentially lethal species. Many tragedies can potentially be avoided by securing snake enclosures correctly, seeking professional advice for dangerous species, and learning how to identify and avoid wild snakes in their natural environments. When combined with responsible ownership, regular enclosure maintenance, and a healthy respect for the power of these reptiles, the risk of deadly encounters can be significantly reduced, protecting both people and the snakes that play such vital roles in our ecosystem. Chapter 4 Love and Family Life Male snakes often engage in distinctive courtship behaviors, though these can vary widely across species. In many instances, the male tracks a receptive female by following her scent cues. Once he locates her, he might maneuver alongside her or, or perform subtle movements to prompt mating. After fertilization, the female's reproductive strategy depends largely on her species. Some lay eggs, while others retain eggs internally until hatching, or give birth to live young. Egg-laying snakes typically see their eggs incubate for 40 to 80 days, whereas live-bearing species may carry embryos internally for 2 to 4 months sometimes up to 6 months for larger serpents. The number of offspring can span from 3 to 20 in a single clutch or litter, 
Smaller colubrids, for example, may produce 5 to 15 eggs at a time, while large constrictors can exceed 30 babies. Regardless of how they enter the world, newborn snakes, 0 to 2 weeks old, are self-sufficient hunters that, pro that progress their juvenile phase in 2 weeks to 6 months, marked by rapid growth and frequent shedding. After the juvenile stage, sub-adult snakes, ranging from 6 months to over a year, shed less often, develop the ability to hunt bigger prey, and begin establishing their own territories. Most snakes reach mating maturity between 1 and 3 years of age, though some larger species require more time. At that point, they are ready to reproduce themselves, continuing the cycle of life that makes the separate world so remarkably diverse. Chapter 5 Fun Facts and More Now that we've explored snake biology, habitats, and behavior, let's highlight a few fascinating facts you might not know about. 1. Record Holders The reticulated python can exceed 30 feet in length, making it the longest snake, while the green anaconda is often considered the heaviest. 2. Heat Sensitive Pits Members of the viper, python, and boa families possess infrared sensing pits that allow them to detect warm-blooded prey, even in complete darkness. 3. Some snakes can fly. Certain snakes in Southeast Asia can I'm flatten flying. their bodies to glide from tree to tree, though this is more a form of controlled falling than true flight. 4. Roll in Medicine The symbol of medicine, the Rod of Asclepius, commonly features a snake coiled around a staff as a nod to healing and renewal, much like the biblical bronze serpent in Exodus, used as a symbol of deliverance for the Israelites. 5. Loch Ness Cousins Unlike eels, sea snakes are genuine serpents adapted to saline environments. They spend most of their lives in the ocean, coming to the surface only to breathe. Snakes are among the oldest and most adaptable reptiles on Earth, having slithered across its surfaces for a millennia. They present an astonishing diversity of forms, venomous and non-venomous, massive and miniature, desert-dwelling and oceanic. In doing so, they significantly influence ecosystems from controlling rodent populations to shaping predator-prey dynamics. By learning about their world and understanding their importance, we can more respectfully share our habitats with these mesmerizing creatures. There you have it. Now you know what snakes are, what they do, how do they behave, and so much more. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one in 2025, Lord willing. Take care, and have a happy new year. As always, to God be all the glory.